Hey everyone, it's Evangeline here at U-Trailer and today we're taking a look at the Sport Rack Semi Custom Fit Roof Rack for your raised rails. So we'll take a look at how it fits, what you need for your vehicle to make it fit, and how to install it. This is designed for those raised rails. So if you have rails on your roof that have a gap underneath it, those are going to be your raised rails. If they don't have a gap, those are going to be flush side rails. So make sure to use our eTrader.com fit guide to get the right fit for you. These are the 53 inch long crossbars. Great for your larger vehicles like the 4Runner here. If you have a smaller vehicle like a Toyota RAV4, you may be more interested in the 46 and a half inch long version. It's gonna work the exact same way. It just has different crossbar lengths. Important because you need to measure your raised rails to make sure it fits. So measure your rails from inside to inside and it has to be at least 38 inches apart for this clamp to work. Give or take half an inch depending on how wide your rails are. But for here on the RAV4, it's wider in the front and it's narrow in the back. So measure where you want your crossbars to be. So this has steel square crossbars with a rubberized coating on top. And that way, if you want to set your items or your cargo right on the crossbars, you can do so. But if you want to use this with accessories, here's some measurements to see if it'll work. This is relatively low profile where when you measure from the top of the rails to the top of the crossbars, it sits two and a quarter inches above those rails. So definitely an upgrade compared to the factory crossbars that came with the 4Runner where you didn't have much space underneath. And that measurement will also help you figure out if you have space for clamps or for U-bolts and wing nuts without it touching the top of your car. The tower fits around your rails and clamps to them. And then you also have this cap on your tower. So if the, with it in the locked position, you are unable to remove it. But if you use just something flat, you can turn this around and now you can pop off the cap and then remove the towers. You do have a weight capacity of 150 pounds for loading this up with cargo. Although what I did notice is compared to some of our other affordable brands where you really need to keep that cargo evenly distributed because it does tend to bend in one area, this one does not have that issue because of that steel crossbar. It's sturdy all throughout. Comparing this with some of the other affordable roof rack options, a big popular one is the Malone Airflow 2. It's around the same price point as our Sport Rack Semi Custom Roof Rack, although the Malone Airflow has more aerodynamic bars, plus it has included lock course. I like the Sport Rack one though in terms of durability and how fast it is to install as well as uninstall. You don't need the extra tool in the Malone Airflow, which takes a long time to tighten down. This one's a lot easier to use, which is definitely bonus points for me. You have your tower, you have your crossbar, just slide that tower through and then drop it into place. And then you're ready to put this onto your raised rails. You could also see that underneath your crossbars, there are numbers and that will help you make sure everything is lined up and you'll also be able to take measurements to see if it will fit your raised rails. With the tower clamps in the open position, you're then going to gently set the towers and crossbar onto your raised rails. Once they're on there, you can now take those measurements. Two main measurements. First is gonna be crossbar spread and that is measuring from one crossbar to another. I have mine at around 27 and a half inches. Next measurement is going to be overhang, and that's from the end of your tower pushed in to the end of the crossbar. It's gonna be about four inches. If that matches up on the other side, then we're good. If not, we're gonna move it back and forth until it's even. Once your measurements look good, use your included tool to tighten down that tower. Then set up your tower cap with the included plastic lock core. And then pop that cap in. Then you can use a coin, a key, or a flathead screwdriver to turn that to locked. Put your end cap on your crossbars. Once you put the end caps, 
on all four towers and all four crossbar ends. Then that's it for the install. You're ready to load up your roof rack and hit the road. So for durability as well as ease of install and uninstall, the Sport Rack Semi Custom Fit is definitely one of my favorites in terms of affordability too. Now, make sure you get the right length for your vehicle though and use our eTrailer.com fit guide to help you out with that. Right here, right now, this was a look at the Sport Rack Semi Custom Fit Roof Rack that is 53 inches long here at eTrailer.com.